Hi crypto peeps, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great week. And um, Bitcoin is doing well right now, it's holding steady at around about $36,000 in change. Not too bad, holding in there, waiting to see what happens with all these ETF decisions, which only have a few days to run. So let's, let's see what's going to happen on that one. So with this, let's get straight to the news we have this week for you, shall we? Okay, so my first piece of news here today is on Fimbold. And it's all about a $6.7 billion ARK says Bitcoin and crypto to be worth $25 trillion by 2030. So according to the CEO of global investment management firm ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency sector could reach the value of a quarter of a quadrillion in the next seven years, considering the speed at which the industry and the wider adoption are growing. Commenting on spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds or ETF applications and the crypto ecosystem, Wood said she expected it to be worth $25 trillion by 2030. According to her, tra traditional financial markets are witnessing a flight to quality, as Larry Fink called it, or a flight to safety, as ARK Invest calls it i.e. the cryptocurrency sphere because there's no counterparty risk in Bitcoin and it is demonstrated strength against the banking sector. She actually said, look at what happened during the regional banking crisis. Bitcoin went from $19,000 to nearly $30,000 as the KRE, the regional bank index, was imploding. If you look at the bank stock index today, it's back down close to where it was in March. As Wood also pointed out, the success of the flagship decentralized finance or DeFi asset will continue because most people understand that Bitcoin is a money revolution. This is the first global, private, so no government oversight, digital, very important, rules-based monetary system in history. I think that pretty much says it all there, and that should be a, an absolutely fantastic quote that we put everywhere. Um, so she's very, very up on Bitcoin, as we all know. Uh, $25 trillion, she's thinking, by 2030, which isn't that far away. That's a huge growth sector. So let's move on to our next piece of paper-based news here, and this is on Kitco. The Bitcoin price is up 100% year to date, uh, and this is an interview with Gareth Solway as he charts the next level for Bitcoin. There's an interview there, so it's good. this is good because you can go away, you can watch the YouTube interview on this, or you can just read the snippets like I'm doing here for you today. So it goes on to say here, Bitcoin is up more than 100% year to date and 30% in the last two weeks, reigniting bullish sentiment. Gareth Solway, chief market strategist at InTheMoneyStocks.com and president of VerifiedInvesting.com, charts how far this recent rally can go. He says Bitcoin has been moving higher uh, on Bitcoin ETF news, but once that approval officially comes, though, that may trigger a sell-off or a pause in the price, with some profits being taken off the table. You'll probably get approval by the end of the year uh, in t or, or early in 2024, and if Bitcoin is still up here, you may not go higher. Uh, he also says it may uh, be already factoring in the approval and it's very possible it could be a set on the news. Uh, at one point last week, Bitcoin surged 10% on a false report that BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin ETF application was approved by the SEC. The maximum upside for Bitcoin in this bull run is $47,000, he says, stating that this may be the next resistance level. He says this with many of these ETF institutions have probably been accumulating for the last couple of months, knowing that eventually an approval will come and so there may not be as many buyers for the spot ETF, he described. Great information there. As I said, have a look at that. Read that. Have a look at the video as well. With all these news links, I'm just reading bites of information here. Check out the links down below for the full articles and the full videos on all this. The next piece of paper-based music I have here again is back onto Fimbold. Uh, the ChatGPT CEO warns us government wants to control Bitcoin. Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, the parent company behind the interactive artificial intelligence platform called ChatGPT, has voiced his concerns about the future of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, which he believes are facing significant challenges from the United States government. 
During a recent appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast, Altman expressed his dismay at what he referred to as an onslaught against the sector by the US government. He suggested that recent government actions represent a war on crypto, highlighting his disappointment with the authorities' approach to digital assets. He went on to say here, I'm disappointed that the US government has done recently. But the war on crypto, which I think is like a, we can't give this up, we're going to control Bitcoin and crypto, makes me quite sad about the country. His comments mirror the mountain sentiment among crypto enthusiasts and industry leaders who are concerned about heightened government intervention in the digital currency realm. Along these lines, government agencies led by the SEC have come under scrutiny amid allegations of attempting to suppress the crypto sector. Altman went on to express his deep concerns about the potential expansion of the surveillance state in the United States, particularly in the context of state control over money, and he expressed his position on the concept of central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, stating that he is super against them. At the same time, Altman stated that he remains enthusiastic about Bitcoin, emphasising the significance of having a global currency that operates outside the control of any government. He went on to say here, I'm excited about Bitcoin too. I think this idea that we have to have a global currency that is outside the control of any government is a super logical and important step on the tech tree. Great comments there from him. Great sentiments. Moving on to our next paper-based piece of news here. This is on the Bitcoinists. And this is a bullish Bitcoin forecast, a 570% rally on the horizon. And this comes from an expert trader. So synonymous analyst Pentoshi, renowned for their accurate predictions in the cryptocurrency market, has once again sparked excitement amongst Bitcoin enthusiasts with a bold forecast. Pentoshi believes that Bitcoin is on the cusp of a parabolic surge, driven by the inevitable return of money printing by the US government. This prediction comes as the government grapples with an overwhelming debt burden of $33.525 trillion. In a recent post on the social media platform X, Pentoshi outlined the foundation of their forecast, and they pointed out uh, that when the US government resorts to debasing the dollar to address its staggering debt, the king coin is poised to shine the actual uh, post that he put have a look at that you can also click through to that and have a look at that on the x platform he also goes on to say here pentoshi's confidence in bitcoin's resilience and value proposition is underpinned by its inherent characteristics bitcoin operates with a fixed supply making it immune to inflationary pressures that affect traditional fiat currencies This rarity and its decentralized nature have made it an attractive store of value in economic uncertainty. Taking a look at Pentoshi's chart, it reveals a compelling projection. The analyst foresees Bitcoin rallying to a new all-time high of $180,000, representing a staggering 570% increase from its current price. While the prediction is bound to raise eyebrows, it's essential to remember that the cryptocurrency market is known for its volatility and such meteoric rises have occurred in the past. However, it's not all smooth sailing as Pentoshi also points out some uncertainties. The timing of the Federal Reserve's decision to start cutting interest rates remains uncertain. And he said this with, we really have no way of knowing when tightening will end uh, and it can extend for years or we can just end up in years of stagflation. Again, great sentiments there, great article, read that in depth, have a look at that, follow the link through to the X platform, have a look at the tweet yourself, it's all there for you to evaluate. Moving on to another paper-based piece of news here, this is on Finbold, Um, this is BlackRock again, they're in the news a lot lately, that should tell you something in itself. So BlackRock's spot Ethereum ETF application could unlock billions from institutional investors. So BlackRock Inc., the financial giant, has applied for a spot Ethereum ETF on November 9th, eyeing a substantial influx of institutional investment into the cryptocurrency market. The ETF, if approved, would allow investors direct exposure to ETH's price without purchasing the digital asset directly. The company's step towards Ethereum signals a broadening interest in digital assets beyond Bitcoin. Historically, ETFs often attract substantial investment 
due to their ease of access and simplification of asset buying for institutional players who don't want to self-custody their holdings. Industry observers assert that BlackRock's suite of offerings in the cryptocurrency sector could bolster market infrastructure and investor confidence. The move arrives amidst a more robust regulatory environment and a climbing interest in cryptocurrencies from traditional financiers. If the US Securities and Exchange Commission greenlights the application, this would mark an unprecedented step and it would establish the first ever spot EFER ETF in the US. Now, this is big news, guys. Uh, all the BlackRock and all the institutions uh, getting on board here with the ETFs is massive news for cryptos. Uh, so keep this in mind. BlackRock, one of the biggest financial institutions in the world, not only does it have a Bitcoin ETF in the works, it now has a spot Ethereum ETF application in the works. This should give you big warning bells here and maybe some big indicator bells as well of where to maybe possibly put some of your investment over in the next few months and weeks. Another last piece of news here, and yes, this is from BlackRock again. They seem to be everywhere, from a company that didn't think crypto was going anywhere two years ago to one that is now kind of focusing and taking all the news. So BlackRock's uh, issues a warning about USDT and USDC stablecoins because they could put Bitcoin at risk, or more so they could put the money that they're spending on the ETF applications at risk. Anyway, so moving to news here, BlackRock, the leading asset manager in traditional finance, has highlighted potential risk associated with stable coins for investors, considering its proposed uh, iShares Bitcoin spot exchange trended ETF. It now emphasizes concerns regarding the impact of stablecoin price fluctuations on the ETF's performance. According to recent reports, the asset manager points out the potential instability of stablecoins like Tether, uh, USD, USDT, uh, and Circle USD or USDC designed to maintain a value equivalent to a specific asset or currency, typically the US dollar. BlackRock highlights that past events have shown that these digital assets can experience significant price movements, which in turn can affect the value of Bitcoin, and in turn can affect their profits, which is hence the warning. Uh, while the trust does not invest in stablecoins, it may nonetheless be exposed to the risk that stablecoins pose for Bitcoin market and other digital asset markets. So they're just worried about their money there. But it's an interesting, isn't it? Have a look at the development of this whole ecosphere over the last few years. BlackRock, they literally were saying, you know, cryptos, you know, it's a Ponzi scheme. Don't get involved with it a couple of years ago. Now look at them. They want to own the entire sphere. So with this, now let's move to our video-based news. As I tell you guys, video-based news is a fantastic resource for you out there, especially if you're on the move. My first one here today is Altcoin Daily. It goes on for nine minutes. Kath is all about Kathy Wood, an interview of Kathy Wood. And she said the crypto bull run is about to go fucking crazy. And this is an eight-day warning. So this one's a good one. This is a global. If it, anyone owning Bitcoin knows this is global. This is not just a U.S. opportunity, and it's big, and uh, you know. So there's that one. Good one. Have a look at that, and also subscribe. They're they're good. They put out content every day. Fantastic stuff. The next resource I have here is Coin Bureau. Uh, this one goes on for 21 minutes. Crypto news, market rally, Solana, BTC, ETF, and more. Due to speculation, the SEC could approve a spot Bitcoin ETF between now and Friday. So lots of crypto-based news there, just general news, but a good one to keep you on your toes of what's going on. My third one here today is Altcoin Buzz. This is a new one to me, but quite interesting news. And they said the next 72 hours will be insane, something big with these altcoins. So give that a look, especially if you're into altcoins. Hours are going to be insane in crypto if this happens. This altcoin is up over 200% in the last 24 hours, and crypto whales are piling into one altcoin. This is your Altcoin Buzz news. Have a look at that. If all coins interest you, you never know, you might be able to do something with the information. And my final piece of news here today is Austin Hilton. This only goes on for three minutes. Again, it's a new channel I'm listening to. It uh, comes out with some interesting content now. Have a quick Anders at this uh, one. What we've got breaking is we had the CPI, the Consumer Price Index Inflation Report come out, uh, and it is showing that inflation is steadying. Uh, core measure rises at its slowest pace since... He goes on to tell you why that affects crypto and everything else. 
So that's it with the paper-based news and the video-based news this week. I hope like that. As I said, the links are down below. Check out all our stuff. Also, check us out on Future Forecasting Group. Uh, we do great stuff, and I'm sure you'll find a huge benefit in your life in many different ways. Uh, click the subscribe and the like button down below. That helps us immensely. Have a great week out there. Uh, take care out there. Namaste, and I'll see you next week.